How's Army Chris? She's good, man. Yeah, 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 really good, happy, healthy. How's you? How's the dog? Coming to you live from Australia's Goblin City, Melbourne, at the Crux Park Entertainment Complex, it's TNSW tonight! Featuring the best band in the world, these two South Wales! And your host, Katie Tiffany! with the silencer in one bin. Wipe down the weapon in the creek. They'll never find it there. <laughs> My name's Jamie Timoney. Welcome back to another episode of TNSW Tonight. Um, thank you so much to the house band, These New South Wales. Hey, how good is that? And my beautiful co-host, The Bearded Pelvis. Um, so, so a big thank you to all the lovely letters and, and, and uh, cards, etc., from all the well-wishers who tuned into the first episode of TNSW Tonight. Um, we heard some great things. They said, TNSW Tonight is going to be a cracker. They said, uh, these New South Wales might just be the best band in the world. <laughs> they said, um, Jamie Timoney, the host, is a natural-born host and leader, um, which was really nice to hear. So it's been, it's been a big week for me, I've got, to, I've got to admit, as these guys can attest to. Um, I've actually just been... Am I allowed to talk about the... I, don't, I have no idea, Jamie. Yeah. Well, I, I think it should be right. I've just been cast in a uh, feature film, and it will be my first leading role in a feature film. <laughs> so that's pretty cool. Um, the film is called Paintball, and uh, it's about it follows the, the life of a... A, a, a retired paintball champion who is headhunted by the CIA to assassinate a man. Um, what he doesn't realise at the time is that the man is actually himself. No, 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 no. it's the twist. It's the twist. Oh, oh okay. It doesn't matter. <laughs> um, so uh, we got a we got an excellent show ahead of us tonight. Um, We've got some big guests all the way from Los Angeles. We're joined by Banoffi and uh, Jamie Timoney, my cousin. Not me, obviously. It's Jamie spelt with a Y. Um, let's kick this thing's head off. Ah, oh, so good to be back. How are you, Pelvis? I'm great, uh, Jamie, and uh, can I just bring up a point to you, mate? Absolutely, why not? I noticed when you were uh, introducing yourself and the band to the uh, audience uh -huh. that uh, you were using a handgun. I was indeed. But the handgun that you were using, you were working it like it was uh, like a revolver. You were actually cocking it every time. So by cocking it the way you've done, you're actually pulling the round out, you're just the automatic side of the weapon is just put into the chamber. Yeah, but with guns, it, you're, what you'll need to do is, I mean, this is just what I, speaking from my limited yeah, experience, yeah. you'll need to actually load the firearm before off loading that's it. That's right. No, that's correct. Yeah. But the thing is, when you first put the magazine into the weapon and you pull the working p parts to the rear, yes. that will then pull the round out of the magazine, put it in the chamber. Okay. So when it's an automatic weapon, you don't have to keep doing that. Okay. You just go bang, 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 bang until the weapon. And I noticed when you threw it in the creek, you didn't clear it, mate. No, but I wiped it down. No, I know you wiped it down to take your prints off. I understand that. But at the end of the day, when you get rid of any weapon, 
you must always clear it. So it's basically pulling the working backs to the yep. rear, looking in the chamber, feeling in the chamber, ensuring that there's no round in the chamber, let the working parts go forward, fire the weapon in the air, it'll just go click, chuck it in the drink. So what do you well, think of the sound of paintball, the movie? It sounds pretty good, doesn't it? Movie? Oh, yeah, it's all right, I suppose. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it's like a pretty exciting opportunity for me to have been cast in, in the lead, leading role of my first feature film, so. Uh, who else is in it? He's still casting it at the moment. There's no right. one else at the moment. Oh, okay, but, yeah. Well, yeah, fair enough. Do you know what the budget is or anything like that? Uh, I'm not exactly sure what the budget is, but it's not really about... But some of the best films have been made for next to nothing. Well, you know, if it's, uh, if it's what you want to do... <laughs> well, it is what I want to do, so I'll do it. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, without any further ado, um, we better bring on our first guest, don't you think? All right, guys, a go, baby. Uh, our first guest is uh, a pop star from LA via Melbourne. She's just put out her new record, Look At Us Now, Dad, featuring collaborations with the likes of Empress Of and Sophie. Welcome to the stage, Ban Noffy. <laughs> ban Noffy. Yeah, what do you say? You're pregnant. Mm. Yeah. Martha. Sorry. Ban Noffy. I'm great, thank you. Oh, welcome to the show. Thank you. Wow, cool. How does that feel? Pretty cool. Thanks for having me. I'm no. really excited. Pleasure. Yep. Yeah, but you. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> California. Yeah, Santa Monica. It's, Good spot. Um, so, speaking of California, you're actually living in LA these days, huh? I mean, I've lived there a while now. I've okay. been there for like three, nearly four years. Okay. But yeah, I love it. Yeah, yeah me too. Really I like. What's there not to like? But I, I hate people when they say. Oh, LA is so um, fake. It's so, you know, everyone there is trying to make it. I just think, live and let live. Um, you know, if, you, if, if, that's, that's, if that's what they want to do, that's what they want to do. I mean, you went there, so maybe you shouldn't have gone there. <laughs> yeah. Like, every time we land in L... Like, uh, first thing we always do is go straight to in and out Straight from the airport. It's like, you don't even wait. You just go, you get in the Uber at the airport, you go straight to in and out you go, double, double, cheese, cheese, uh, burger, burger, please, please. <laughs> and um, if you're anything like me, you'll say no mayo, because there's mustard in it, and it, I'm allergic to that. I, I don't know, I've never had it. Oh, really? I'm vegetarian. Oh, okay. Yeah, I mean, I've actually been thinking about going vegetarian myself, um, because I'm a great lover of animals. Uh, yeah, I've got heaps of pets. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I got, I've had pets, um, and I, you know, the animals in my life have always been really nice, so I have no, nothing against any of them. Um, and yeah, it, for the last five or six years, I've been thinking about going vegetarian. I think at one point in the not too distant future, I reckon I'll make the switch. So where do you live in LA? I live in Silver Lake. Oh, I love Silver Lake. That's the best spot. I mean, like I've, tr I've, I've gone there, I've tried to hang out in West Hollywood. It's not really my scene, you know? Um, I prefer the more sort of like artsy, you're gonna get the more creative types, okay? You're gonna get the more... people who are willing to uh, be vulnerable. It's kind of just Australians. In Silver Lake? I feel like oh, it's like Australians it's like... seeking Australia. Yeah. Like... It is in a big way. I don't, I, yeah. It's kind of weird. There's like Australian cafes and like everyone goes there to meet and like meet other Australians. No one really wants to meet Americans there. I feel like it's a weird sort of yeah. environment in that way. It's but. becoming a bit like that, isn't it? Like you want to go probably a little bit further out or something. Yeah, it's a bit gross. Yeah. So yeah, where else do we go? Uh, the Chateau. Marmont. Chateau Marmont. Chateau. That's fancy. a hot spot. Yeah. 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 It's fancy. Yeah, you often see um, famous celebrity actors at Chateau Marmont. Marmont. Yeah. Marmont. Yeah. <laughs> Correct me if I'm wrong. I, I heard a little birdie told me you've been hanging out with some pretty famous people over in Los Angeles and you've gone... Something about Beyonce, I don't know if I... Ah, uh, shit. Oh. <laughs> shit. You don't have to tell it, but I, is, is this true? Something about dinner party, Beyonce? Yeah, 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 yeah. Um, oh, I don't know if I can say this on television. 
Um. Okay, fuck it. Go, I, oh, go, just tell it. Uh, well, basically, I think what you're talking about is this story. I feel like everyone like exaggerates it, but um, I was at Beyonce's house. I met her. Through, Hold on, put on the brakes. So I met her through some mutual friends. Um, and yeah, I was at her house. It was like only like, I don't know, like the fourth or fifth time I'd been there. Right. And I was hanging out in the foyer and I saw this like guard sort of guy. Well, I thought he was a guard, but he was wearing like a cap and like a big baggy t-shirt. And I was like, that's kind of weird. Yeah. Yeah, but I didn't think about it. You know, it's in Beyonce's house. Like everyone can do what they want, you yeah. know. Um, anyway, we were at dinner and he came in and yeah. he started running towards Beyonce. Oh my God. And no one acted. Like no one, Jay-Z just sat there. Like he didn't know what to do. He was scared. Everyone was scared. Jay-Z didn't do anything? Nothing, nothing. That's... Beyonce was just sitting there like, oh my God, this is my time. And I just sort of like went into fight or flight and it was fight for me. Oh my God. Yeah, it was kind of nuts. I, well, I have boxed for like, I don't know, like, 10, 11 years. Okay. Um, and I just went in there. I gave him a kick to the stomach, one hook to the face, and he was down. <laughs> it well was, done. but well done. I don't, yeah. It's, well done. I didn't like save anyone or anything. I just, I, I don't know, it just happened did, and then it was over. You did what anyone would do in that moment. Exactly, well I thought anyone would, apart from Jay-Z. Yeah, yeah. lazy, like, more like lazy. Banoffi, I have a gift for you. What? Cool. I did a little bit of research <laughs> and I, I would like to presents. present you <laughs> with a small token of our appreciation. Oh my God, what is it? Well, you'll have to open it and find out. Extreme animals. Yeah, because I heard you like animals and you're a vegetarian and I just thought that would be this is fucking great, yeah, thank you. Yeah, there's all sorts of great animals Weird. in there. Not only Australian ones, there's ones from Africa. Look at that. Uh, there's ones from America. And wow. there's also insects and bugs and stuff like that, which oh, are also animals, holy shit, it, it like, it That's pops. That's pretty cool, isn't it? Wow. Wow, That's thank fantastic. you so much. So it's kind of an interactive. Neck lizard. So I just thought that would be cool to yeah, hang out my with nephew, pretty cool people. Yeah, my so. nephew's gonna love this. He's, um, he's like super into wild animals. Great. He I can make all the noises. And... Yeah, nice. Cool, okay. I'll read it to him. Thank you so much, Banoffi, for uh, coming on the Thank show. You. Um, we're going to be right back uh, with our next guest, Jamie Timoney. Not me, obviously. Uh, Jamie is online. Uh, stay tuned. Aaron Man, and this review goes out to the ladies. This song is called Ocean Grove Junkies, but the S is a dollar sign. Is that just for aesthetic reasons or is it symbology? I don't know, I'm really stupid. Let's have a go. It's nice, yeah, I guess it is new metal. It's a lot of nostalgia. I try not to have any nostalgia because most of my memories are really bad. I didn't um, grow up listening to new metal, so it wouldn't really be nostalgia if I listened to it again because it's not even part of my memory. Um, it'd be more like fantasy. So yeah, listening to this song for me is a lot like watching The Lord of the Rings. Or I give this score get at Gimli. Well, welcome back for crying out loud. Uh, it's been an awesome show so far, hasn't it, fellas? Yep, beauty. Enjoy. Enjoying yourselves? Yeah, enjoying your life, yeah. Um, me too. Uh, now, the, our next guest is a famous celebrity actor. He's just been cast as Saul Canelo Alvarez in the film Canelo, directed by Robert Scorsese, about the real-life boxer. He's my best friend. He's also my dad's cut my my cousin. His name is Jamie Timoney. Yeah. <laughs> 
<laughs> he tapped out. Hi. Hey, how are you? Good to see you. I'm glad I'm just shaking you. Jamie, nice to meet you. Hey, hey. Do I sit here? Yeah, grab a seat. Cool, thanks. Hey, guys. Get up, Jamie. <laughs> 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 he always taps out. Since he was a kid, he's always... He's always been like that. First to give up. That's why we love him. <laughs> Jamie with a Y, Timony, my cousin. <laughs> uh, same age. He was born first. Uh, not the same age. They named him after me. Well, yeah, that's what I'm... Why? Because I'm older and I'm better. <laughs> with a Y in the middle. With a y. He's got the I. Our dad's very close. <laughs> Remember that time, that Christmas, I... I you, I was in the pool underwater and you bombed in yeah. and landed on my head. Yeah. And I ended up with like 10 stitches in my forehead. No butterfly clips. Oh, I mean, he's got to stop talking about it. It wasn't a big deal. No, there were stitches. I had they stitches were not in my head. Stitches. I, I specifically remember the needle going in and, and, and stitching. There was it. no needle, they were clips. Let it go. It was yeah. in like 96. Yeah, well, I'm just trying to. It's a funny story. It's like the only injury he's ever had. He's well. so soft. <laughs> <laughs> so you're doing this film. Yeah. He's doing this film yeah. about Canelo. He's playing the boxer himself. Yep. Uh, it's a massive, massive. It's huge. mega it's opportunity. Huge. Yeah. Um, tell us a bit about it. I can't really. Um, I can't really. I've signed an NDA. Uh, Sorry. Non-disclosure agreement. Um, yeah. Go, I've to actually an, just... go to an ad. <laughs> I can't tell you much. Oh, okay. Yeah. Well, I've actually just signed an NDA, N NDA myself. Okay. Um, more of a, it was like a verbal, uh, the verbal version, a verbal agreement between two men um but i said i will not you know talk about because i've just been cast in a film um, and you're not allowed to tell anyone well not uh, you're allowed to tell people bits and pieces you know you don't want to tell anyone oh, i'm pretty proud of the um it's are, no it's a, it? well, it's a good tell film it's called it. paintball it's about a paintball. retired uh paintball champion paintball. who is hired to <laughs> to uh, assassinate a man but he laid with a, a paintball gun well no with a real gun <laughs> He's happy. It's a real gun. He was, he was <sighs> good at shooting because he's so good at paintball. So that's right. why he's been headhunted. Paintball. You gotta love it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's directed by a man named Brian Mott. Brian Mott. You got anyone heard, you heard of Brian Mott? I've heard of him. Let's Inter find out who Brian Mott is. Mott. Oh, it's Mott. Where, where is he from? He's from Sydney, Australia. Sydney, Australia. I think you just have to hey, say... Hey Siri, look up Brian Mott, director, Sydney. I couldn't find anyone by the name. I don't know. Yeah, well, you're not going to find... coming up. not going to find it... anything. Brian Knott on the internet. Oh, well, Brian Knott, a real filmmaker. He's on Facebook. I'm... Jamie Knott, so... have a contract. If you do get a contract, send it to me before you sign it. Okay. And I'll send it to my team and make sure you're not going to make another terrible decision. <laughs> Paintball. <laughs> Paintball. It's going to be good. It's going to be good. Paintball. Um... <laughs> Um, I think we have uh, your <laughs> audition tape for Canelo here. Do we have the... We've got the audition tape. Can we roll that? Hello, my name is Jamie Timoney. I'm 5'11". I'm based in Los Angeles. <coughs> Adios, mi amigo. Wow, what a terrific, uh, what a terrific audition! It's no surprise that you got the part. Thanks. You probably shouldn't have played that. So, and I understand you've been to, to in in order to portray Canelo, you've been on a pretty, uh, a pretty strict yeah, kind of regime. Yeah, they got me on a regime. Speaking of which, can I have that uh, bottle of water? It's so hot in here. Can I have that bottle of water? Yeah, it's sure. It's so, like, do you not have aircon here? <laughs> there is aircon. Is there? Put it on. Yeah. Well. It's fucking hot in here. <laughs> Thank you, mate. Yeah, they got me on this diet. I gotta drink a lot of water. Jesus Christ, that's quite loud. <laughs> Pretty safe to assume that being a film about a boxer, you're probably doing a fair bit of boxing training and Obviously, getting into that. Obviously, Jamie. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> oh my God. No, it's I'm just doing lacrosse. Uh, yeah, well, it's just that I bring it up because I've actually been doing a bit of boxing training myself. I find that it's really good for oh, fitness. Oh, don't, you shouldn't get into that. Why, well, why is that? Because you've got a glass jaw. Yeah, 
Well, I'm not actually planning on fighting. I'm just doing it. Of course, for you're the... not. <laughs> when he was a kid, he was so little. We all used to beat the shit out of him, I... and he'd just cry. <laughs> uh... yeah. That's not true. It is true. <laughs> he just cry. Yeah, well, it was nasty. That was your defence. Uh, fetal position and crying. Well, I've been boxing training, you see, so, like, what I'm learning is that it's about technique. Shoulder, sh shoulder towards the opponent. Show us some boxing. Get man. your chin in. Okay, well, I, you know, I, uh, you got the jab. hook. Jab, jab, sorry. Jab, cross. Cross. Uppercut. Jab, cross, uppercut. Jab, what cross, else you got? uppercut. Show us your hook. These hooks. Hook. Elbow up. Twist your hips. Twist jab, your hips, cross, elbow hook, up. Jab, cross, cross. Jab, cross, hook, cross. Up, up, up. Can you move? How's your pivot? Slip, slip, weave. Slip. <coughs> you guys should do an arm wrestle. Arm you guys should do an arm wrestle. Let's go, let's go. Let's yes. go. Yeah. Go, go, go. Come on, Jamie. Come on, Jay, you show us your boxing training. Okay. Go. Ah. There you go. Bye bye. Ah! Oh! What? Oh. Ow, ow, ow! Ah, I Jamie! Did... I... I didn't ah. do it. He just. Ah! Can we get well, it just slipped. Here? Get off! Ah! Sorry. I didn't mean to. Well, get someone! Yeah, we. Yep. Ah! We really get some medical like... stuff in here, please. Ah. I didn't do it. Yeah. I didn't do that. <clears throat> Right, just oh, calm down. Sure. Oh, fuck. It's going through skin. Oh, fuck. It's going through skin. Yeah, it's not, it's really not good. Yeah. Okay. Um, we're at the Croxton Park Entertainment Complex. Thanks. We'll see you soon. Jamie, it's not good, man. Oh, fuck. Sure. Mud Hot Spicy.